What's up, YouTube? So, recently, um, I made a video covering all the preseason changes that are coming to the jungle and to the game in general. And today, all the changes are actually out on the PBE. So, we're going to be testing uh, things out right now and just seeing how it feels. So, first things first, the jungle item has been replaced by not a wolf, not a fox, and not a frog, which are the monsters. So, this one, when fully grown, your companion get grants additional effects. So, you take 30% reduced damage from extra epic monsters while two more allies are nearby. Okay, what's this one? Gain 35 move speed. Alright, well, we know which one went on Hecarim. <laughs> but I'll look, at, I'll look at these more. So, it's like, it looks like this one, take 30% reduced damage from monsters. So, this is from Dragon and Baron. So, I guess this is good for champions that want to, like, solo objectives. This one, oh wait, it's actually the same for all of them. Oh, so you get that no matter what. Okay, so you get that 30% reduced damage no matter what. Wait, you can upgrade your smite to 1200 damage now? Okay, this is actually like really crazy. We're going to just try it out and then we'll see how it feels. So it looks like we have our little pet guy just running around, chilling. Also, there's this new, there are these new, like, updated leash timers, or, uh, leash ranges. So, we'll see how that works. Okay, so I don't think red buff was that changed. Wait, your smite does 600 damage level 1 now? <laughs> wait, and, wait, you just insta-kill the <laughs> wait, what? And then you just insta-kill the Krugs, okay? That's cool so my little pet is actually doing damage to all these guys as well so you can still like drag that out all right wow i'm already done at 240 okay let's see if we can double cam clear these cams oh okay wait Okay, I don't think you can actually double cam clear this anymore. Unless you can. Hold on, let me try one more time. I'm gonna walk here and smite that. No, you can't. Okay, so you literally can't double cam clear uh, blue gromp anymore. The leash range is just too far. That's actually really unlucky. Alright, so now we'll just use our E and we'll get the scuttle. So scuttle doesn't have a shield anymore, apparently. The interesting thing is, now that you don't have your refillable potion level 1, you really need to back with 950. So, how does this, like, thing work exactly? A friendly companion com accompanies you and can be fed up to 40 treats. Treats are gained by killing monsters. So, I guess right now we have 33 treats. So, right now we have, like, 33 treats, but what happens when we get more? So, we kill one of them. Oh, 31. Oh, so does that stack downwards? I think it stacks down. So earlier we were at, we were at 33 and then it went down to 31. So now does killing this bring it down to 30? Let's see. Yeah, so it brings it down to 29. So you get two of the big things every time you can do that. Interesting. So at 20 treats, your companion upgrades might to 900 damage. So that means 9 more, so off, after your 3rd full clear, you get a 900 damage smite. <laughs> wow, that seems really balanced. 900 damage smite after like your literal 3rd full clear. I think Udyr is going to be here, right? Yeah, we can counter like this then. Good. I'm gonna be honest, you guys. Udyr has no mana, but neither do I, so I'll just back off. Okay, so at 20 treats, we get 900 damage smite, and then at 40 treats, your companion reaches adulthood. So after your 40 treats, upgrade smite to deal 1200 damage to the primary non-champion target and 50% of the damage to nearby monsters. <laughs> okay, so your smite pretty much just one shots camps, I guess. That seems really interesting. And then, when it's fully grown, you gain 35% movement speed, decaying over 2 seconds upon entering bush. 
I want to see something. Can you double cam clear these two cams? No. Fuck me. That gives me cancer. But the interesting thing is patience regenerates. So at least when it, like, um... How do I explain this, guys? Before the way patience would work, or the way it works right now on live servers, is that it makes it so that the monsters will instantly go back to full HP. But now it looks like if you push pull them out too far, they go back, but then if you kill them within the range, it's, like, fine, apparently. They were also saying that they wanted to add these recommended jungle path things, but up to now I haven't seen that, so... I'm going to assume that isn't in the game just yet. Alright, so now we have our 1200 damage smite. Against champions, deal 61 true damage and then steal their move speed. Ooh. So that's like the blue smite on live servers right now. Good. Alright, so that's the smite I have, and what's Udyr's? Deal 69 true damage and slow target by 20. Okay, so it's, I think everyone's the same then. So there's no more red smite, there's no more blue smite, it's just everyone gets blue smite, apparently. I will say the one thing though, I think scuttle crabs actually have a lot more importance now. Because the more scuttle crabs you get, the more treats you give to your little monsters. So scuttles are definitely going to be much more heavily contested than they used to be, that's for sure. I'm also going to go for like a classic hacker mode this game, just because I don't want to think too much about itemization since I'm still getting the roll, the hang of like the roll, right? Um, but no, just know that there is Spear of Shoujin and all these different items, so we're going to be testing these out in other videos. If you guys want to see those, you can sub to be notified when those are released, but those will be over the next few days as well. Okay, so we have our 1200 damage smite. So I guess since you aren't able to clear blue gromp at the same time, they made clearing Krugs faster so that it doesn't really mess with people's full clear timers. That's how it feels, at least. So now we get that for free. Oh, wait! Our guy literally got nine stacks off that. What? Wait, that gives nine treats? Wow, okay, so early objectives are super important as well. That's for sure. Nine treats? Maybe dragon gives a, an insane amount as well? I mean, it makes sense that they give more, but I wasn't expecting that big of a discrepancy. Okay, we'll look for a bot kill here. Just pop the ghost. Use the E. Nice. Nice. A little bit of a chaos on the mundo, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, so what I'll do right now is I'll just, like, clear my top side. And if I clear my top side, then I think I can upgrade my spike before my reset. Which I really want to do right now. I'm gonna miss my, like, timer for getting played spot, but it's okay. Alright, and now our pet is fully upgraded. <sighs> Interesting. So now we're gonna see how this feels. This little, like, pet thing. So your fox grants you her speed while out of combat. So out of combat, you gain 35% MS, decaying over 2 seconds upon entering bush, and then increasing to 60% when you kill large monsters. Okay, interesting. So let's get one Q stack here and then do this. Oh wow, look how fast I am. Look. <laughs> Wait, the movement speed. Wow, what the fuck? It's crazy. Bro, it's here like I have home guards. I'm just gonna kill this for Q stacks and then pop the ghost. I walk in the bushes. So that's why, as Hecarim, you wanna always fight in bushes now. You're literally like Rengar 2.0. <laughs> this feels so cool, what? I'm just Rengar 2.0. I go to the bushes, I got like 80% MS. Wait, and look how sick my smite looks. Avatar smite. <laughs> oh, sure, it does 1200 damage now, so you need to remember that. 1200 damage smite. Oh, yeah, not even close, bro. If you don't flash, you're dead. There you go. So, yeah, when you're clearing, you always want to just sit here because, look, when I'm in a bush, I have 221 AD, 
But then when I'm not in a bush, I'm at 209 AD. See? So that's why when you're playing Hackerman, you're clearing Blue Buff, stay in the bushes. When you're clearing Raptors, stay in the bushes, right? So what we can do is we'll just keep Q-Sacks, and then we'll do this. Nice. Perfect. So that will just reset, and I'll probably just get Death Sands, honestly. Because, again, I don't want to get any of the new items, just because I want to save that for a little bit. So do Death Sands, and we'll just do, like, the typical build that I've been doing recently, which is, like, Dust Blade Man Mean, right? All the new items, those will be covered in different videos. So let's see something. So that's the effect of this one. What does this one do? So this one, you grant a permanent 75 to 330 health shield that regenerates after 10 seconds and then it, you get to nasty when it's broken and this one attacks slow enemies and burn them for four percent of their max health true damage interesting i'm gonna be honest out of all of them i think this one's the most broken and the reason why is just because getting that out of combat move speed is just so op honestly i was cue this for q sacks Sitting in the bush so I can actually like regen. <sighs> mm, okay. I mean, it's fine. It's not that bad. All I really need is to get Mad Immune, and then once I get Mad Immune, then I can probably kill them pretty easily. Udir still hasn't even completed his thing. <laughs> I had my prime, or not my primal, but my avatar smile like literally five minutes already. I'm kind of curious to see how much damage this Avatar Smite does if I were to do this. <laughs> wow, Sealer just one shot it. Nice. We need to target Set, not Udir. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Chapman's just a raid boss. Alright, I'll probably just reset for my man me now, and then I'll even get Sorelda's. Like, I won't even get my Mythic yet, just because I think Sorelda's would probably be the best. Since I have so much armor. Well, the enemy team is all topside, so I'm just gonna take Dragon. So you want Goliath's Ascendancy this game. That's like one of the new items that gives you an insane amount of health. Everyone has flash. Nice. I should get Mondo. Everyone just has flash this game, I guess. Like, it's the most insane shit I've ever seen. These new jungle pet things, though, like, the bonus I mess around the map just feels so insanely OP. Like, I don't know. Everyone always clowns on things like Cloud Solar, like, movement speed, but let me tell you guys, seriously. Movement speed changes are the biggest things ever that get changed. Whether it be a movement increase or like reduction, those are the biggest nerfs and buffs ever. So this 35% out of combat move speed is just at, like super crazy. We get phase rush off Mundo and then we get on Ezreal and just kill him like that. Perfect. Does it not flash this time? And now we can probably just kill Udyr? Yeah. He <laughs> doesn't stand a chance. Perfect. If I could have just gotten one more Q, they all die. Okay, what are our options for Mythic this game? I don't think I want to get any of these, like, tank items yet, just because I want to save those for another video that we could look at. So, we'll just stick to something that we know. So, we could do Duskblade, we could do Eclipse. 
The fighter mythics don't really get changed at all, so chain force is still the same. Thunder is still like the same, so I'll probably just leave it at that. It's either Duskblade or it's Eclipse this game, one of the two. But now I'm just grabbing Elixir because we can probably end off the next uh, fight. Alright, let's run in. Nice. I mean, I can probably just end the game. I don't even need to rotate here. End the game without a mythic. Just five legendary items. Alrighty. Oh, that's here. Nice. I will say one thing though, and I'm not sure if you guys have also noticed this, but I feel like the game seems a lot more cartoony now. I don't know how to explain it to you, but the graphics feel a lot more like, like an arcade game. Like with the uh, jungle and even like the objectives, like the towers. I don't know if they added like these outline things, but yeah, it feels like kind of a mobile game with these graphics. Almost had that. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll just get our last item now. I think this game will just do Eclipse. A classic little Eclipse game. And now our Eclipse, just off buying it, instantly gives us 16% armor pen <laughs> with 5 MS. Holy shit, that's gonna be crazy. On my way, all in. Push, retreat, bait, enemy missing. These pings seem, uh, yeah, the, even the ping graphics, it really does seem like a mobile game. I don't know, like, that's the best way I would explain it. Alright, so run in for this fight here and we'll just kill everyone. Give me my Penta. Woo! Not bad. First game of the rework jungle already got a Penta. It's chilling. Um, honestly, these changes feel really interesting. Um, I'm not really opposed to them, but I'll do more testing over the next few uh, over the next few games, and I'll 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 like try out new items. So. Just leave comments in the comment section below of like any items you guys want to see me try, any like smite combinations, things like that, and I'll try to do everything that I possibly can so we can get ready as best we can for preseason. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again for the next one. Peace.